Welcome back to the Highlander Summer Series. I'm Matt Province. Now a new face around the NJIT men's basketball program. A guy who had a really nice year as a sophomore uh, down at Austin P. Now transferring to NJIT. Let's welcome in uh, junior Antoine Butler. Antoine, welcome aboard, man. What's up, man? Just, I'm just happy to be a part of the squad. Well, they're happy to have you, and it's interesting because there's so much unknown right now, right? I mean, and for you personally, not only are you dealing with this pandemic situation, but you're changing, you know, where you spent your first two years playing Division One basketball and coming to a new program. So what's it been like for you the last four months and, and with the decision and with the, uh, the gaining entry into NJIT? What's been going through the mind? Uh, like, it was hard for me to leave Austin P because I built a relationship with them guys. And like I just look at my teammates as brothers there, so like, I keep contact with them. And now that I'm a part of the Highlanders, I just want to build a relationship with them, the coaches, and every staff member, and just like make them my family now. So I'm guessing for you, if anybody wants this pandemic and these quarantines and all these shutdowns to be over, I'm guessing you're probably really excited about getting up there, getting to work, and getting these relationships going. Yeah, I'm I'm very excited to like meet meet the new people that I'm gonna be around for two years, maybe three. Very excited. And I can go into a bit about stats. I mean, you're a guy that has been a proven ball distributor. You can shoot the three point shot, three to one uh, assist to turnover ratio. But rather than me spew off statistics about a guy that I haven't yet seen, tell us a little bit about yourself uh, and your game and, and how you fit into a basketball team with your skill set. Uh, offensively, I just like feet in a high hand and like making people comfortable, like tell them when to shoot, like just having them be freely while when they playing, like just be happy, like just play your game, be ready to shoot. I just like getting others involved. And defensively, I'm just a hard nose. I just want to defend. Well, it'll be interesting because you fit in with a team. I mean, uh, what you know about the team, Zach Cook's a very good scorer, but a guy that's perennial, a top theft in the league, uh, very quick hands. It sounds like you kind of fit in that mold as well. Um, but you had not only good success from a personal standpoint last year, but you were on a team that won 20 games in the OVC. Uh, so talk about that year and maybe the, the development. Obviously, you know what kind of player you were, but how you've changed your game or you've grown and matured now with two years under your belt at the Division One level. At Austin P, I had in my freshman year, I had a senior guard in front of me that was just teaching me like how to be a leader, like how to be more vocal, like talk, being a coach on the floor. That's what I like really learned at Austin P, and everything else it was just like getting my teammates involved, guarding the ball, just making other people want to guard the ball. Just, make, just bringing people together as a team so we could win. And you're no stranger to that. I mean, I go back to now your, your high school days and you know, some time at Cardinal O'Hara, you know, a kid who's a you know, Philly native. Uh, does coming to the Northeast, coming back to NJIT, is that something you're excited about being that you're from this region? Talk, talk a bit about that decision to come to NJIT a little bit more specifically. Yeah, I'm very excited because my parents, like they're old and they never – got a chance to see me play in college yet. So NJIT only an hour and a half away. They're, they're willing to come to a lot of games and see us win a lot of games. <laughs> I like that. Uh, I like that last part of the answer there too, uh, just about as much as any. Um, so what do you know about the program? I mean, you know, you're, you're obviously a guy that, that was recruited heavily. You, you wanted you here. Talk about what you know uh, about the program and, and, and how you see yourself fitting in. I see myself fitting in this the uh, the program good because the coach told me he want to pick the ball up and make it hard on the ball handler. That's something I want to do, and he spaced the floor and pick and roll and let us play. I like that. Yeah, very exciting. What uh, what have you been doing during the the pandemic? This lockdown. How has it been for you to try to stay? mentally and physically ready when we finally do get the green light to get back to, to normal life or at least normal basketball activities? Uh, when it first started, I just was doing a lot of running because there was no gyms open. But now that gym's starting to open, me and my friends, we get in there, like, play five on five 
and and I work out a lot. What uh, what about your background? Were you a Sixers fan growing up? Villanova. Talk about being a, a young basketball player, you know, aspiring to play Division One while being in the city of brotherly love. Growing up, my family, my dad is a big Eagles fan, Sixers fan. He loved everything Philly. So like that's just what I was around. I just had to be a Sixers fan because my dad just very he, like forced it on me. <laughs> Well, is there a guy, whether it's a sixer or not, is there a, an NBA player, anybody that you feel like if a, someone who's never seen you play, you say, you know, I kind of play like this person. Is there anybody that stands out to you that were maybe modeled your game after? When I'm growing up, that's all I wanted to watch was Chris Paul. I just like wanted to be like Chris Paul so much. Well, the fact that you get a thrill out of feeding the hot hand kind of makes sense. You know, being a ball distributor, true to the too true to the role of point guard. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, anything else you can tell us about your background or personality, hobbies? What, what would we? Uh, what are we going to get into when we see Antoine Butler? What do we know about you on and off the floor? Uh, Antoine Butler just—he just, just loves to smile and <laughs> <laughs> just have fun. Well, then since we're having fun, I got to ask you because you know we talked to some people from Austin P, and it was never Antoine or Butler. It was always Booty. Booty. Talk about you got a nickname. I mean, are we to call you Antoine? What do you want us to call you? I, I want to be called Booty. That's 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 my name. If if it could be Booty Butler everywhere, that's that's where I want it. <laughs> that's what I want. And this is long standing too. Like this has been around for a while. This is something new. This nickname. Yeah, that nickname been around since I was probably like two. My cousin just started calling me Booty, and I don't know where it came from, but it's catchy and it stuck with me. Well, it's going to sound good at the Wellness and Events Center, which I'm sure you're excited to, to, to step foot on the floor. It's a beautiful arena, but I can hear Jim Haig, the PA voice, saying booty for three, and I think it's going to have a ring to it. It'll catch on pretty quickly. Yeah. <laughs> well, man, I, I welcome you to the program uh, from this this standpoint, from the, the broadcast standpoint. Looking forward to seeing you play. Hope everything goes well and, and getting you up to Newark. And uh, stay sharp, and uh, welcome to the family. Thank you. All right, that is Antoine Butler, two very good years, point guard for Austin P. now joining the Highlanders. Looking forward to see Booty get loose in Newark. I want to thank you for watching this edition of Highlander Summer Series. Booty, again, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. I'm Robinson, and uh, yeah, thanks again.